I am on a placement from the University of Edinburgh as a social work student and I've taken the role here as an outreach worker which involves generally um, uh, assessing and prepping participants for wilderness journeys. I also heard about it though because my dissertation is going to be on outdoor therapy and I obviously had heard about Venture Trust through that because it kind of does, you know, uses the outdoors to facilitate safe space and, um, uh, and as a personal development course I think it's really beneficial. So I'd heard about it and I kind of tried to push the uni into placing me here even though you're not allowed to put preferences down but it was so relevant to my dissertation that I was very, very pleased to get placed here. It's really relevant to my dissertation, which is uh, based on ecotherapy and the benefits it would have um, on women who've experienced domestic abuse, which is why um, I was really intrigued by Venture Trust because they do these wilderness journeys um, specifically also for, there's a group called Next Steps, which is specifically for women. And I was really interested by that and I'm very grateful that I got placed here because it's given me some really good insight on the on the whole experience um, and some first-hand experience as well of the women who've been on these journeys. So um, you get a lot of independence at ET, so you kind of make your own schedules, you're given a caseload and then you can, you know, you contact your participants along your caseload and you arrange to meet them as is most suitable for both of you, so you kind of just create your own schedule which has been really good and it's given me a lot of flexibility around university. Um, and I've enjoyed the independence uh, that I've had. Um, challenges generally are surrounding participants and then being generally they can be quite um, erratic or um, inconsistent in their engagement um, which you know that's just kind of the name of the game when you're working with vulnerable people but at times it just means that you can face a lot of time wastage if, for example, you go to a location and they don't show up or things like that. Um, but which is why it's so good to have such a flexible calendar because you can try and accommodate for that um, as best you can. Yes, it's been really great to see, like I said, firsthand um, the benefits of the outdoors, how it's put into practice. Um, how practitioners use it to really help facilitate um, personal development for all these people. And it's been really great to see it um, in action. Staff gathering is great. It was so good to see just like how many people it takes behind the scenes to make these wilderness journeys happen. Um, you know, in terms of funding and um, organising the field team, the outreach workers, it was good to see the scale of it. You know, there's a lot more staff than I anticipated and as an outreach worker you know, you're know, you out meeting participants and it's so easy to just not see anyone for days on end um, in terms of colleagues. So yeah, I really enjoyed that process of seeing um, the entire organisation in one location. That was great. Um, I would say it's really great to just forging a bit of independence, you know, like I said, creating your own schedule um, and working around participants. Um, it, it's just a really good learning curve, actually, and the flexibility that it gives you to manage your own workload is, I don't know, it was really helpful for me, actually, uh, to see what it's like in practice. So you'd recommend it? <laughs> yes, I definitely recommend it.